Okay, the light emitted by a helium laser has a wavelength of 632 nanometers in air. Uh, what do we know about air? The index of refraction of air is pretty much that of a vacuum, which is 1.00. Uh, as the light travels from air into zircon, now we gotta look up the index of refraction for zircon. That's not mentioned in the problem. You flip back a few pages in the textbook and you find out the index of refraction for zircon is 1.923. That would be given. I'm not gonna have you looking up stuff on a quiz. All right, so as the light travels from air into zircon, find its speed in zircon. So to do part A, we're simply asked to find the speed of light in zircon. So the equation that applies here is the definition for index of refraction, which is N equals C over V. We're looking for V, so V is gonna be C over N. C is a constant. It's the speed of light in a vacuum, three times 10 to the eighth meters per second. This is gonna be uh, index of refraction for zircon, 1.923, and we get a velocity of 1.56 times 10 to the eighth meters per second. Now, I'm, I wanna skip to question C. Question C is asking for the frequency. Now look, if we, if we have a boundary, air to zircon, uh, what remains constant? If we look at a light ray, so a light ray hits this boundary right here. So we're, so we're going from air, 1.0, to zircon, 1.923. Uh, there's gonna be reflection and refraction. Whenever you go from less dense into more dense, the refraction is towards the normal line. Um, but the thing I wanna point out here, what, hap what, do, what do we know about frequency when a wave travels from, from one medium to the next? It stays the same. So let's go ahead to part C and just find out what the frequency is of this, of this light ray. So we're gonna use uh, C equals wavelength times frequency. Now why can I use that in, as opposed to V equals wavelength times frequency? Notice I put C because air for all practical purposes is what? Air for all practical purposes, we can treat it as a vacuum. So this, we're saying the speed of light in air is just gonna be C. Okay, so frequency is gonna be C over lambda. So we go three times 10 to the eighth meters per second. We're gonna take this given wavelength right here, but we have to convert it to meters. So nano, nano is 10 to the negative nine. So when you convert this, this is gonna be 6.328 times 10 to the negative seven. Uh, meters. So this gives a frequency of 4.74 times 10 to the 14th hertz. Okay, so that is the frequency in air, and it's also the frequency in the zircon. Now, back to part B. So part B wants us to find the wavelength of the light in the zircon. So do we have enough information to do this now? Yes. Yeah, so we go velocity is wavelength times frequency. So wavelength is gonna be velocity over frequency. What's the velocity of the light in the zircon? We just solved for that. That was, where's it? 1.56 times 10 to the 1.56. times 10 to the eighth meters per second. And then the frequency is the same from air to zircon, that's 4.74 times 10 to the 14 hertz. And then this gives us a wavelength of 3.29 times 10 to the negative seven meters, which is the same thing as 329 nanometers. So that's the answer to part B. Would you, would you, would all the answers would be most likely, when you're dealing with light, it's typically going to be in nanometers, but it's possible that they would convert that to meters. 